Hello everyone. In this video, I want to talk about a feature that recently came out with Obsidian that most people might actually overlook and look at it as something like, so what? And that is the web viewer. Now, the web viewer came out recently here and when I first heard the web viewer was coming out, I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool, right? You can easily click, click on your links, open up things to Wikipedia, whatever other web so sources that you might have links to. But as I started using it, I'm like, okay, let me try something and see if a few things work here. And after using the, the actual web viewer for a few other things that were not really probably even considered in the usage for this, um, I really found something that makes the web viewer somewhat like a the, the third party plugins but it's for a web-based third-party plugin type of scenario where you can bring applications into the Obsidian workspace, but it's web-based. So let's first take a look at the web viewer. If you have not turned it on, you can go into the core plugins. You see web viewer in, in here. You just go ahead and enable it. You can go into the settings. A couple of things that you can change in here. You can change the the actual home page. So if you have a home page that's preferred for you every time you open up the web viewer, you can set that up. I have it here as ChatGPT. And you can save a folder for anything that you want to save as markdown will be placed in a particular folder that you might want to pick. You can set up the search engine that you use here. You can enable the ad blocker and then you can add some custom uh, links or rules uh, for ad blocking. You can change the frequency here and then you have a, um, a button here where you can clear the web viewer data. Now if we go into the web viewer itself, pretty easy to get to. From the, you know, your, your main screen here, you can just click on a tab. Then you can see web, open web viewer here. You open that web viewer and then it will take you to either your home page uh, that you set up or um, you know kind of prompt you to put in uh, something there where you want to go now here's where this changes from the simple okay I have some links of, to sources in my documents and my notes and then they just open up in these web pages that you can see here on this side here what I did was I made it created a stack of other applications that I typically would have to have those apps open on the side or they'd be running in a browser and different tabs. I brought these apps into the Obsidian workspace here so that I don't have to actually leave Obsidian to use these. And these are things that some people have trying to actually been getting have been trying to get into Obsidian by using third-party plugins like the Google Calendar and uh, to-do list or task managers and things like that. You can easily do this with the web viewer. So right here I have Tick Tick open as a tab and, and I set up as a stack on the side to make it somewhat of a side panel because it, instead of a tab. So I can always just come in here and I can click on the actual side panel if I want to open and close different things I can easily get to them from here and switch them in and out because they don't have to technically be open at every all times but it's just an easy way a visual way for how I like it but you can set these up to where these are just um, tabs typical tabs that you would get here I've also pinned them so that they're always open and yeah they just live here and Right now, this has really changed my workflow here to where I can just open Obsidian for the most part. There, there is one other app that I use and that's Noti for the visual note taking. And because it doesn't have a web application now, um, they are working on it. I can't put that in here, but this has drastically reduced the number of applications that I have to um, have open on my desktop. And I don't think most people probably are using the web viewer for this. And I wanted to just point it out, get it out there and show people that you can actually log into some websites that are actual applications. 
and treat the web viewer as if it is a third party web plugin type of thing where you can bring other apps into the Obsidian workspace. All right, so that's going to be it for this video. There's really nothing more to talk about on the web viewer side. It's uh, pretty straightforward and simple. If you use the web viewer for this type of thing, then leave some comments below. I'd like to see if other people are already doing this. Uh, if not, hopefully this kind of opened your eyes to a different way of working with the web viewer and some of the other applications that you might use within your day to day that are outside of Obsidian. So yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until the next time, have a nice day.